my challenge. So we've got Jonas here, who is the engineer, and he's going to be staking out. No, he's not. He's going to be surveying this stockpile. We're going to see how long it takes him, how sweaty he gets, and then we're going to compare it to me flying the drone. And we're also going to look at how accurate the information is comparing the two surveys. Are you worried, Jonah, that I am going to whip your ass? I think timing-wise, potentially. I might get a really right sweat on if I if I try and beat you. Okay. But Do you think accuracy? Accuracy, I think I've got a good shot. Right, okay. With accuracy, there you go. There's a, there's a good shot here for me. Right, go in. There he goes off into the sunset. Um, he's young, Jonas. You know, he's 22, so uh, he's got confidence. Thinks he's going to beat me, but little does he know, a drone survey takes like, well, probably this site, all of about eight minutes. So I'm definitely going to whip his ass. I'm not concerned about this. It's not like the robot. He's not going to beat me. Um, but I'm gonna let him, uh, gonna let him walk around the site and think like he's got me on this one. There he is, the big strapping German, doing about a point every ten minutes. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. He's probably going at about the same pace that I even do. even scared or one a little bit. I'm excited to get the drone up today. Um, I've actually not flown it in a while and it's a really nice calm day. It's not very windy so it's just gonna kill it. I'm just, I'm not worried. I don't know if I've not said that before but I'm not worried. Right, we're 10 minutes in and Jonas has disappeared. He's behind the stockpile somewhere, doing you know his little bottom of batter, top of batter, random points. Uh, I've just got the drone from the truck and probably would have whipped his ass already if I'd have got it out and been more prepared. But I'm gonna let him finish, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, and then I'm gonna take this bad boy up and show him the future of surveying, stockpile, volume quants, all that jazz. Yeah, I'm actually pretty worried now that Jonas is not coming back. Jonas? Jonas, come back. It's quite a big stockpile, but it's not huge. He's got big, long legs, and yet it's taken ages. Right, we're always clocking 15 minutes and Jonas still hasn't reappeared from the stockpile. I'm expecting him to come out here, but he has not as of yet. I think this might be one of those occasions where the Germans lose, and that feels good. Moses, what do we spot there? The big reveal. It is Jonas the engineer! Hiding there like some sort of jungle animal. Thinks he's on time, thinks he's speedy. <sighs> oh, I've had a cup of tea, a bath, and uh, read a book by now. Right, what have we got? Top of batter, bottom of batter? Uh, we've got bottom. Incline bottom. Uh, done. You done? Yeah. Okay, no sound. Done. Right. Quick news announcement. Today's video is actually brought to you by PQS Survey. Yes, they are the proud sponsors of this video. And as you all noticed, they provided the wonderful strapping German for the engineering versus drone test that we are seeing today. Uh, in all seriousness, PQS Survey have been around for decades and they supply a ton of equipment into the construction and engineering world. GPS kits, EDMs, Oh, the list is endless, so I'm gonna put the list right here. I personally have been using PQS for the last 15 years, hiring in kit that I need to use on my own jobs, and they are amazing. Not only are they price competitive, but they also have an awesome team behind them, which means customer service is great and any support that you need for your kit is on hand. Right, let's get back to the video, and um, if you're in need of any construction engineering kit, please go and check out PQS survey. You can actually go down below and you'll see my email that's connected to them. Um, and if you want anything, just hit me up and I'll forward over your details. Who's gonna win? Drone versus engineer.
All right, it's my time to shine. Uh, no panic in here, but I've got to check that we've got all GPS satellites working, um, which means connecting to my phone. Uh, but we're in a pretty open space, so I'm, um, I'm hopeful that we won't have any satellite issues. That's the main drama I'm going to have with the drone is satellites. Once it's in the air, we're good. She says, not crashed as of yet. Fucking technology. Mm. All right, so I am having some problems here. I will give this one to Jonas, that the technology sometimes, you can't even get things off the ground. So a little bit of a satellite issue, but I'm working through it. That's the most important thing. Yes, we're connected. It's ready to fly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there yeah, we've got 17 mil, 1 mil, 24 mil, and that's going to get better when we get it up in the sky. Yeah. So we are three photos in, flight time, nine minutes. safely all say that I definitely beat the German and walking around stockpiles is not a good idea when you have a drone in your backpack. Seriously, all jokes aside, I was really anti-drone uh, coming from a surveyor's background. Probably about two or three years ago I was like, I am not even looking at this. There's no way a drone can do any kind of survey accurately and um, I was just, I was just dead against it. Old school. But since obviously purchasing a drone and using the drone, I now never really want to go back. Um, don't get me wrong, there's certain places for drones and certain places that you are definitely going to need to be walking around doing engineering with a GPS kit or EDM, but for things like this, it's amazing. And that's it, I'm, I, I'm not going back, mark my words. So Jonah's punishment for being slow with the survey, you're not actually slow, it's just slower than drone, <laughs> is to put away the drone. Yeah, it gets special treatment for me being worse. As a German though, how does it uh, feel to be... I feel like I'm focusing on German. Was... No, not at all. I've not, I've not noticed that at all. <laughs> how does it not feel to be beat, beat by a British? Beat by a British. Well, the drone's American. All oh, right. So... <laughs> I think it's always disappointing when you're beat by tech, but I feel like it's, um, it's the way the world works nowadays, so... Are you convinced? You do, you think, used to it. do you think tech and drone is the, the future of surveillance? I think, I think unfortunately it's going that way. I think nice. my breed is going out of fashion. Okay, so I know you're all asking, well, who won? Well, Jonah took roughly an hour and 45 minutes to do the survey on foot. My flight time was eight minutes. So on time, tick, definitely the drone wins. Now in terms of points, uh, Jonah over egged it and got around about 550 points for his survey. And as you probably know, if you know anything about drone photogrammetry and point cloud, I would have picked up thousands and thousands of points on this stockpile survey. So for me, there was really no competition with this job. The drone was the winner and will be for most stockpile projects. Hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Tune in for more videos coming soon. Bye.